Video number 10, step 6, set up the sales funnel. In this step, I will show you in detail how to set up a killer sales funnel. There are a lot of activities to be aware of in this part, and I'll cover the main ones. Domain and hosting, uploading your squeeze page, uploading your front end offer, uploading your upsell offer, and setting up your autoresponder. As an example, I'll be using a PLR product provided by HQPLRStore.com, which is the LinkedIn business in a box. Domain and hosting. First of all, we need to register a domain name and a hosting account. A domain name will be the address of your website. It will be the place where all of the URLs of your website will be attached. There are two different scenarios you must be aware of concerning picking the right domain name for your product or service. The first scenario is of registering a single domain for a single product, and the second scenario is of registering a single domain for several products. If you decide to use the first scenario, that'll be just fine. You just need to buy a domain that might be directly related to your product. Your domain name should be your product's name if you decide to do it like this. Just try to make it easy for people to remember. So just in case they remember your topic, they can easily go there and check your offer again and even decide to purchase it. For the second scenario, you will need to target a more general topic because you will be targeting several products at the same time. The second scenario is a lot more flexible for many reasons. If you want to install a product centered on a topic based on a trademark, you always have to make sure that the trademark allows you to register a domain name using their trademark. For example, LinkedIn does not allow you to register the LinkedIn marks as domain names or as any part of a domain name. It will be the same for other trademarks, that's for sure. Maybe you could use a different word trying to say you're offering training about that specific trademark. An example for this may be Facebook. A lot of people use the word or characters FB as a representation of Facebook. That could be a great idea, but a lot of other people who are not in the internet marketing world would never think the same way. So that's why, in order to avoid this, you could use the second scenario in your domain registration and simply create a folder for every product you create. Trademarks won't be a problem because that will be a URL from your website talking about a trademark. There are millions of URLs like that which have the trademark on it, and that doesn't mean they're using it in the domain itself. If you have only one product to sell, use the first scenario. But if you plan on creating several products in the same market, then use the second scenario. I'm planning to create several products based on the same market. For that reason, I'll use the second scenario. I'm planning to create a membership centered on social training for businesses. So I will register the following domain name, socialmarketingelitetraining.com, which sounds just great. And just in case you don't find a .com available for your desired domain, you can always use .net or .org as well, which are well known over the web too. In order to register a domain, I use my favorite domain name provider, Namecheap.com. I've been using Namecheap.com for years, and I've not faced a single problem with any of my domain names. They have great offers as well on some occasions. Just follow the steps shown to you in the buying process, and you're done. Now that we have the address to our virtual home, it's time to get the land that it will be built on. That virtual land where we will store all of the files for our websites is called hosting. Being more technical, a web hosting service is an internet service that allows individuals and organizations to make their website accessible via the World Wide Web. Web hosts are companies that provide a space on a server owned or leased for use by clients, as well as providing internet connectivity, typically in a data center. In simple words, they're the guys who store your website and are able to make it live to the entire world using your domain name as the address to get there. I like to separate domain from hosting because if I don't like the hosting, I can just cancel it and still have my domain separated to plug it in with another hosting company. Domain transfers are really long and complicated, and sometimes hosting services offer really expensive domain name registrations and transfers. HostGator.com takes really seriously the statement of a 99.9% .9 uptime guarantee. 
I've actually been using it for years, and I just remember one day years ago when my site was down for some technical issues, and it lasted just minutes before it was online again after calling them. Something that with other hosting services, I just sat down and cried waiting for them to resolve my issue. Not actually crying, but being really angry. During the registration process, remember to let them know that you already own a domain name. Uploading your squeeze page. There are two basic ways for uploading files to your hosting, using FTP software or using the Hostings File Manager. I myself like to use the Hostings File Manager to upload my stuff because it's a lot safer, and I'll explain to you why in a minute. Okay, cool. So let's go over the Hostings Control Panel. You will click on File Manager, double-click on Public underscore HTML. Now you will double-click on the domain name. And here I've created a folder named LinkedIn. That's because I will upload a LinkedIn product I've already edited. Here you see all of the material for my squeeze page. You will see the image folders, codes folders, HTML files, and the special free report. Select everything, right click on a selected one, zip it, and then call it squeeze page. You can use a free zipper software called 7-Zip. And the squeeze page zipped file is the one you will upload to your hosting. Now go back again to the file manager in your hosting. Double click on the LinkedIn folder, click upload, browse, and double click the squeeze page zipped file. Wait until the upload is completed. Go back to the file manager, click on reload, and there you have your zipped file. Right click on it, click extract. Extract files, click close, and click reload once again. And there you have all your squeeze page files live. Just visit that specific folder. In my case, it is socialmarketingelitetraining.com forward slash LinkedIn. In my opinion, this way is a lot more secure than using FTP software. Because if in the FTP software the upload gets interrupted, then you'll have a lot of trouble viewing the images and files that didn't upload correctly. So this is the method I advise you use, but you can decide which one to use. Uploading your front-end offer. Let's go back to our computer. Now we will upload the front-end offer. I have organized all of the material for the front-end offer, including the complete mini-site, main product, and even the bonuses. I didn't use any other PLR membership to get all this material. All of it comes from the HQPLRStore.com membership. Even the upsell comes from there. You will select all of the folders, the HTML pages, and the zipped files all together. Then you will right-click and zip them, and then call it front-end offer and the front-end offer zipped file is the one you will upload to your hosting. Go back to the file manager. Right there, together with the squeeze page files, you will create a folder. You'll name it basic. Double-click on the folder and you'll upload the front-end offer zipped file you just created. Click upload, browse, and double-click the zipped file. Wait until the upload is completed. Go back to the file manager, click on Reload, and there you have your zipped file. Right-click on it, click Extract, Extract Files, click Close, and click Reload once again. And there you have all your front-end offer files live. Just visit that specific folder. In my case, it is socialmarketingelitetraining.com forward slash LinkedIn forward slash basic. Now I advise you to check to make sure that everything looks great. Okay, wonderful. All is looking great with the front end offer too. But we also need to check two more URLs. The save your basic package downloads dot HTML URL, which is the URL where people will be redirected once they successfully purchase the front end offer. Here we will insert the second sign-up form as well. Once people put their name and email in this page, they will be redirected to the upsell offer, and they will get an email with the basic package downloads area.html URL as well to download their purchase.
and the other URL is the basic package downloads area dot HTML URL. This is where your buyers will download their front end offer purchase. Check to make sure that everything looks great. Check the download links, which is the most important part of this page, and also check that the 3D upsell offer graphic redirects to the upsell offer. Well, you won't see this page because we haven't uploaded the upsell offer yet. Uploading your upsell offer. Let's go back to our computer. Now we will upload the upsell offer. I've organized all of the material for the upsell offer, including the complete mini site, main product, bonuses, videos, audios, and PDFs. You'll select everything. Then you will right click and zip them. Then call it upsell offer. And the upsell offer zipped file is the one you'll upload to your hosting. Go back to the file manager. Right there, together with the front end offer files, you will create a folder. You will name it upgrade. Double click on the folder and you'll upload the upsell offer zipped file you just created. Click upload, browse, and double click the zipped file. Wait until the upload is completed. Go back to the file manager, click on reload, and there you have your zipped file. Right click on it, click extract, extract files, click close, and click reload once again. And there you have all your upsell offer files live. Just visit that specific folder. In my case, it is socialmarketingelitetraining.com forward slash LinkedIn forward slash basic forward slash upgrade. Now I advise you to check that everything looks great. Okay, wonderful. All is looking great with the upsell offer too. But we also need to check two more URLs. The save your upgraded package downloads dot HTML URL, which is the URL where people will be redirected once they successfully purchase the upsell offer. Here we will insert the third sign up form as well. Once people put their name and email in this page, they will be redirected to the upgraded package downloads area dot HTML URL to download their purchase. They'll also get an email with the upgraded package downloads area dot HTML URL again to download their purchase. And the other URL is the upgraded package downloads area dot HTML URL. This is where your buyers will download their upsell offer purchase. Check to make sure that everything looks great. Check the download links, which are the most important part of this page. Wonderful. We're done uploading your product. Setting up your autoresponder. Finally, you will set up your autoresponder. Here I'll show you two very important parts. The first part will be setting up your autoresponder lists and sequences, and in the second part we will create the sign-up forms. I'll be using AWeber only. Setting up your autoresponder lists and sequences. Log in to AWeber and click where it says Create and Manage Lists. Click on Create List. Here we will be creating the list for the free report subscribers. Basic information. List name. Here just type a name of your choice. This is for personal reference. List description. This is for personal reference too. From name. Here you have two options. You can put your name. This is important if you already have an important personal presence among your list. And the other will be the name of the product, so people may identify your emails right away once they start getting your emails. Using your name is important, but in that way they won't know the topic right off. I like to use the topic because being new subscribers, they'll be interested in getting their report right away. They can identify that in the email subject as well, but the sender is in reality the first thing a reader looks at before deciding to open an email. All of this is just my personal point of view. You can decide what to put in there according to your subscriber's behavior. Address. This is the email that will be shown to them as the sender. If they decide to reply anything back to you, that message will be sent to this email. Contact address. Here is where you will type your physical mailing address. This is optional as well. Click Save Settings. Personalize your list. 
Here you will insert your company information, social information, and snippets. I myself really don't use this area. You can go ahead and find out for yourself how to use it. Confirmed opt-in. And here is something I don't use either, but it's up to you to use it or not. This is used so you can confirm that the people in your list are real people with real emails. Once they sign up, they must go to their email accounts and click on a confirmation link that eWeber will send to them automatically in order to get access to their free report. This is what is called opt-in confirmation. If you decide to use it, this is the email your subscribers will get right before they're part of your list, and then they will start receiving your emails. I advise you edit the name of the list right here and put something better, like the name of your free report, which is the same name as your product. This is the URL your subscribers will be led to once they click on the confirmation email. If you decide not to use all of this confirmation process and want every subscriber to be put directly into your list and start receiving your emails, you can just turn it off. Click Save Settings and you're good to go. Now, let's start inserting the emails into this list. You will go to Messages and select Follow-up Series and click Create Your First Follow-up. Here is where you will create all emails promoting your front-end offer to your special free report subscribers. The first email will be used to thank your subscribers for being interested in your special free report. You'll give them the URL to download the special free report, and also you'll invite them again to check out and buy your product. The rest of the emails will be used to invite them again to check out and buy your product. You will have the chance to put when you want to send these emails. I recommend you do not send them every day, but instead send them every two days. Okay, cool. Now that you know how to create a list and set a follow-up series, repeat the process for the other two lists, the one for the front-end buyers and the one for the upsell buyers. Creating the sign-up forms for the three lists. Now select the special free report subscribers list. Click on Sign Up Forms and click on Create Your First Sign Up Form. Design. Here you will have the chance to edit the sign up form however you want. You can even pick from the different templates already there. Just design it in a way that may be nicely fit within the layout of the squeeze page. We advise you to add an image to the Submit button so it doesn't look too simple and looks more attractive to the visitor. Settings. Right here, you have to be very careful. You can put a name on the sign-up form for you to identify it. Then you can insert the URL where your free subscribers will be redirected once they put their name and email. Here you will have the chance to place the front-end offer URL. Don't worry about delivering the free report. Once they put their name and email, they will instantly receive that report in their email accounts, as well as get another chance to buy your front-end offer, just in case they don't do it at the time of signing up for the free report. Click on Save Your Form and click on Go to Step 3. Publish. This is the code you will embed into the HTML code of the squeeze page. I advise you to test it out. Put your name and a testing email. Check to see if it redirects to the front-end offer URL. And also, go to your inbox and see if, in a few minutes, you get the first email of the autoresponder series. Check the links you'll get there just to make sure everything is working great. Cool. Now you can go ahead and do the same with the other two opt-in forms. Awesome. We're now done setting up the autoresponder. Now let's go over the final step, applying one of the most known ways to generate great profits by using PLR content.